Unfortunately, the big news of the past week has been tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. Um, the, the news has been dominated by the killings in the Eastern Cape. You saw that family that was uh, murdered, um, that mass massacred by people who are suspected to have been involved in a feud with the family, and it, it's an almost an entire family wiped out. So that I mean, it's, it was a week ago, but it is the story that actually has dominated the news because. That's the, the tragedy of it all, the fact that so many people in one homestead actually succumbed to killers and they, and they were not even expecting that this is how their week, their evening, their, the ceremony that they were involved in would end. And then, fortunately, uh, almost a week later, there's also been another tragedy in the Eastern Cape where we saw some community patrollers being murdered, um, five of them gunned down by unknown gunmen, also in very mysterious circumstances. So there's been a lot of blood, a lot of death, and it actually asks you, begs the question about the psyche, our psyche as South Africans, about just the cheapness of life and the availability of people who want to kill. Um, with such ease and be able to walk away and continue with their lives after that because and i'm sure kind of like as soon as they were done with that they probably went home and hugged their children and had a hot meal so yeah it does beg a question about us as a country as a nation about what is it that makes violence so easy we've been desensitized in a way yeah hugely des desensitized um so yeah and then Yet another tragedy, and one cannot compare the scales of tragedy, but this one really pulled at the heartstrings. And that is the tragedy of those children in Soweto who ate some snacks and ended up dying over the course of this past um, few days. Um, again, this is something that has occurred before. It's not the first time it happens. And it does seem that... No lessons were learned from the last time. The authorities have not cracked down on this illegal trade, um, illegal manufacturing of food that is not of standard to be consumed by human beings, never mind children. So you now have, we are sitting with like families that have to bury little, little ones. And, and also, in a situation where we do not know kind of like where, what, to, what to trust, all those people kind of like, particularly in those poor communities, do not know whether they have the protection of the authorities in terms of um, ensuring the safety of the food they consume. So it's, again, it speaks to this is failure in governance, failure in following up. And, and I think that there has to come a point where heads have to roll. I and mean, obviously the people who sold them or sold the kids this stuff, obviously they, they must be pr prosecuted and they must end up in jail. But they actually, heads must roll at the level of the inspectorates and the people in government who are supposed to be protecting consumers. And any big events this week that we are looking towards? The major event this coming week has to be the situation in Tswane, where the new mayor is supposed to be elected this week, um, following the ouster of Celia Brink um, for a week or so ago. And so what has now become, very, what has now made the story very interesting is that you have Action SA and the ANC, the very people who instigated the removal of, of Celia Brink, both vying for the mayorship, and it's going to be a very interesting three-way race between the ANC, the EF. Sorry, it's it's going to be an interesting three-way race between the ANC, Action SA, and the DA, and there is going to be a lot of horse, horse trading before that. So, what again? I mean, like the the conundrum there is that I mean, the question you ask is what did the ANC and 
actually as a discuss before they ousted the mayor and actually plunged the the nation's capital into into a crisis and then the next question is what are the implications of this for the health of the government of national unity of which the ANC and the DA are the primary pillars.